guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day three of my 12 days of Christmas. For today's video, I have an exciting one. We are gonna be testing out some new makeup that I just got in the other day and I am super excited about it. I got a PR package, yes, from Flower Beauty. I was shocked when I got this email. I don't get a lot of PR, which I am fine with. So when I saw that Flower Beauty had emailed me, asked me if they could send me a couple of their new products out to try, I was like, yes, I am actually a big fan of Flower Beauty on my own. In fact, as a funny side note or irony, I had actually placed an order from Flower Beauty two days before I got that email. So I do also have some more things that I've ordered coming to me, but those probably won't be here till next week. But today we're gonna try out some of the new products that they were excited to send me. I am very excited about some of these. We've got a lot of cheap products in here. I've got some lip products, some eyeshadows, which I I have never tried a Flower Beauty eyeshadow out before. Some primers and mascara, lots of fun stuff. I hope you guys are excited about it. Before we jump into the video, I wanna welcome any new visitors to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure that you are subscribed. But I do have a lot of makeup to put on. We are starting from a completely bare face, so we better jump right into it. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get started. We do have a lot of makeup to put on. I did get a couple of primers from them. We might try both of these out together. I've never used two primers. I rarely use one primer, but I really wanna try them both, and I can't decide, and they are kind of different. We'll get into it in a sec, but we'll probably try both of those out. I also got a couple of cheek products that I'm very excited about. These are new. These are their Gel Crush Lip and Cheek Sticks. I've already tried one of these out, and I really did enjoy it. So we may use one of these, or we may use this right here. It's one of their original blush bombs, which I have yet to try out, and I've been dying to try these out for over a year. I don't know what has taken me so long. Fortunately, they sent me the shade Bubbly. I also have the shade Pinched, which I think is one of their best-selling shades coming in the order that I placed with them. So excited about that one too, but we may, we'll see. We'll probably swatch all these blushes and see which one we end up with. Also got their mascara that we will try and two of their chill out lip glazes. These look really fun. And lastly, but not least, I got two of their eyeshadow quads. I am really excited to try these. They look beautiful in the pan and I've never tried a eyeshadow from Flower Beauty. And eyeshadow from Flower Beauty. And then we'll combine those things with some of my favorite Flower Beauties. We will be using my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation and Concealer. I don't have anything from Flower Beauty for my brows, so we'll just work with what I already have. But let's jump into primer first. So I wanna start off with this one right here. This is the Chill Out Skin Serum infused with hemp-derived CBD. Ooh, that sounds fancy. So let me just read you guys real quickly what it says. This is $16 full priced on their website. It says it is infused with hemp-derived CBD and hyaluronic acid to lock in moisture and help soothe hydrate and refresh and rebalance stressed out skin instantly. That sounds amazing. I am a little stressed right now, so I could use some Flower Plus CBD serum. Let's see if this works the magic. Ooh, it does feel cooling even on my fingers. Okay, it's definitely very cooling. It's very lightweight. It's not sticky, but it's also not greasy feeling at all. It just feels like kind of like a water. Ooh, that feels really nice. Okay, still can't tell if my stress is gone. We'll have to wait and see how the rest of this video goes. So next, they also sent me their Supernova Celestial Priming Whip Base. Now this I think is supposed to be like a whipped version of their Celestial Skin Elixir, the kind of oil-based one. So this one is $15. It does have 1.9 ounces in it. And let me just read you what it says. Revolutionary ultra lightweight mousse that creates the perfect base for a seamless airbrush makeup application with a soft focus brightening effect. It says it has light reflecting pearls in it. Ooh, that sounds cool. So let's give it a little Oh goodness. Okay, that might be a lot. <laughs> Probably don't need as much for your face as for your hair, Mandy. Ooh, this smells really nice too. It smells kind of lavender-y, but like in a very, very subtle, subtle way. I do think this one feels a little bit more moisturizing. All right, so we're gonna jump into just a little bit of foundation. Today I'm gonna use my Light Illusion Foundation in the shade Nude L3. I think this should be a pretty good shade match for me right now. I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers. I'm sorry, you guys. Charlie has a friend over and yeah, toddlers will run. Mm, I do love that foundation so much. Let's add a little bit of concealer. I have the Light Illusion in the shade L34. I should have picked another shade of this up while I was ordering. This one works for me. It probably will work okay right now, but probably in another month when I am at my fairest, it's just a little bit too dark for me, especially for my under eye area. But I do love the formula. I also love the soft smell of this one. It has a really soft, pleasant, fresh scent. For that, let's use a little mini beauty blender. 
So today's video will be an almost full face of Flower Beauty. I tried doing a full face video once before. It was a full face of Milani makeup and pretty much everything in that video, in fact, I think everything I used was from Milani, but I didn't have a Milani eyebrow product. <laughs> I ended up just using a Milani eyeshadow for the eyebrow product. And I remember I got one. Someone was very kind of upset about the fact that I didn't just go out and buy one of their brow pencils. It's funny, people have very strong opinions and expectations about what a full face of one product should be, apparently. I very seriously disappointed them. <laughs> All right, so that is good for now. Let's go ahead and do the rest. Should we do the rest of the face first? Yes, I want to do the rest of my face first. Actually, let's just do my brows really quick. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of my Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Taupe. Just run this through my brows really quick. They do have some new brow products on their website that I'm curious about. I feel like I need to maybe branch out to trying more brow products out. I just, I am so attached to the few that I really love. I love this one. I don't really feel the need to try other things, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried out one of Flower Beauty's brow products, what you think of it. All right, let's move on to the rest of the face, starting with bronzer. So in the order that I myself placed that I don't have yet, I did pick up the other shade of their Heat Wave bronzer. For today, we will go ahead and use this one. It's not my favorite, it's just a little bit too warm for my liking, but if I use a light hand, I can still get it to work. So we're gonna go ahead and use it today. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the outer part of my cheeks. All right, before we jump into those blushes, let's do a highlighter next. I have this highlighting trio from Flower Beauty. I think they still sell this on their website. These highlighters are amazing. They are super intense. I like to kind of just mix all three together. I was fortunate enough to find this at my, I think I found it at my local Walmart before they stopped selling Flower Beauty at Walmart. And I found it on sale. I think I found it for like half price or something, but it is really, really good. And that reminds me, in the little note that they sent me, they did say that they now sell Flower Beauty at CVS, which is, I did not know that they sold it there. So that's pretty cool. Let's now jump into some blushes. So let's go ahead and swatch some of these and then we'll kind of decide which one will maybe work best with what I'm gonna be wearing today on my eyes. We'll get to that in a sec. So again, these are their Gel Crush Lip and Cheek Blush Stick. So I have two shades. This one right here is the shade Strawberry Crush. Let's go ahead and swatch this one. It looks a little bit more of a neutral pink. These are really nice, very kind of dewy formula. So these don't fully dry down. I have tried this bolder pink once. I liked the way that it felt on my skin, but I haven't had a chance to really like wear test these. So I'm not sure what their wear time is gonna be like, but they do look and feel really nice on the cheeks. This shade right here is the shade Raspberry Crush. So we have Strawberry Crush and Raspberry Crush. Really, really pretty. Ooh, I'm really feeling that shade right there. Let's try out the blush balm as well. They sent me the shade Bubbly. I'm really excited to try these. I know a ton of people love these. People were raving about these long before I even started trying out liquid and cream blushes. So I have a feeling I'm really gonna like these. Ooh, these feel nice. Ooh, they feel really nice. So there's the shade Bubbly right there. Very similar to this one actually. Maybe a little bit more pink. Oh boy, guys, I don't know. Mm, do I go with the blush balm? Let's try out the new one. I think we're gonna go with this one right here, just because it's their new formula. I feel like some of you might be curious about this formula and I am excited to try it. I think that shade looks really, really pretty. So I think for this, I'm just gonna take my Duo Fiber Powder Brush, just kind of load it up on there, and then just kind of start stippling it on to my apples. Ooh, that's nice. It smells really nice. Really nice, soft, fruity scent, but not super strong. That's a really pretty formula, you guys. Ooh. That was super easy. That literally took me like four seconds to tap that on each side. And I really, really like the way that looks. Ooh, I'm excited about that one. I'll pay attention to how this wears today and I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> I say this often and I often forget. Editing Mandy, don't forget to put it down in the description box or a pinned comment how the blush wore. I will try and let you guys know. All right, let's move into the eyeshadows. So I am super excited about these two quads. I was excited when I saw these announced. So this one right here is in the shade Gilded Lily. We've got some basic neutrals down here. These are both mattes. This one looks to be more of like a satin champagne. Ooh, pretty. And this one is a really pretty foiled shimmer. Ooh, that feels great. 
Ooh, I'm excited about that. That's a pretty gold too. It's a very beigey or peachy gold. Really, really flattering shade. Let me fill these mattes right here. Those feel really nice as well. Oh, I'm impressed. These I have a really good feeling about. So there they are swatched on the back of my hand. Nice neutral color scheme. I also got this one from them. This is the Barrymore version. As you can see, this one is some nice berry tone pinks. Let's swatch these on my other arm. So we've got two matte shades, these two right here. Swatch those. There's the deeper and the lighter. Ooh, those feel really creamy and nice. And then the two shimmery shades right here. So let's swatch those. Deeper pink and the lighter kind of golden peach. Those look really nice as well. Mm. Okay, we're gonna kind of do a combination of them both. I think what I wanna do is add this kind of lighter pink through my transition on my lower lash line and then we might use the darker brown and the gold from this one. Before I do that though, I just wanna add a little bit of primer. This one's just from Lorac. Just a very basic, pretty much a nude or clear primer. All right, and then I'm gonna jump straight into the shadow. So we're gonna take that lighter pink right here on my refer number 16 brush. And just really lightly start placing that up through the crease. Ooh, that blends really nicely. Pinks can be tricky. I feel like that's a really flattering, soft pink. And by tricky, I mean I don't always love the way pinks look on me. Like sometimes if they're too bold or too pink, I don't usually love them so much. But this one's really nice and soft. All right, let's take this. Actually, let's take this brush right here. This is from Nabla. Same color. I'm going to smudge a little bit of this along the lower lash line. Just on the outer half of the lower lash line. I don't like to take pinks too far in. I feel like it makes my eyes look kind of red. Pink almost has a little bit of like lavender in it. It's really pretty. Now I want to jump into this one right here and take the matte brown and like the deep matte brown and start building that up in my outer corner. So we're going to take the refer number 14 brush and add just a little bit of this. Just start placing that on this outer part of the lid. I'm kind of running just a little bit right under this outer corner of the lower lash line as well, just to really smoke out this corner right here. Just with what's left, I'm just running that all the way through that center part of my crease, just to deepen out that section right there. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of that lighter matte shade right there. I wanna run just a little bit of this under my brow bone. I don't often do this, but I'm just curious about the finish of this one. It looks like mostly a matte, but it might have a little bit of like a satiny sheen to it. Yeah, it does have a little bit of sheen. Not a lot though. It's really pretty finish for under the brow. All right, let's add the shimmery shade. So, oh, this is tough. Actually, why don't we go back into the pink one and add that kind of peach tone shimmer. And then I think I'll add a little bit of the gold to my inner corner or part of the lid. So starting with this one, I'm just taking my ring finger and I want to just kind of tap that all over the lid. Ooh, this is really nice. It's almost creamy feeling. Back to my refer number 14 brush. I'm just going to kind of feather this edge right here. Just get rid of that harsh line. Bring back some of that depth in my crease. Pretty. Now let's go into the lighter one. Take this shade right here and add a little bit of that with my pinky finger to the inner Kind of inner corner, inner part of my lid. These are impressive. Makes me excited to see the ones that I have coming for me. I'm excited to try the cool tone ones as well. I mean, this is, these are both beautiful warm tones, but excited to try those ones too. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this dark brown. I just wanna add a little bit more depth to this outer corner right here. So I do just want a little bit more of that pink to show up on my brow bone right here. So I'm just gonna take the very tip of my refer number 16 brush. We're just gonna add a little bit more of that right up here. I feel like that dark matte brown covered up all that pink and I do want a little bit of it to show. That looks great. Let's add a little bit of liner. I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild liner. I'm gonna add a little bit of this probably to the upper lash line, a little bit to my upper water line. Then I'll be back and we'll try out the mascara. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go into the mascara. I first wanna just curl my lashes really quick. I forgot to do this. 
at the beginning. Now for the mascara. They sent me their Warrior Princess mascara. I have not tried out a mascara from Flower Beauty yet. Let's have a look at the brush. So this brush looks a lot like the Lash Paradise kind of. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it a try. I think they have another mascara version. It may be in a green tube. Have you guys tried that one out? I vaguely remember hearing someone rave about that mascara. It might have been Andrea. I'm not positive on that and it was a while ago, but I don't know. Mascara is one of those items that I don't always feel super compelled to try different mascaras out. When I find a few that I love, I'm just, I'm usually pretty happy with them. And so it's not the thing I get excited like when a company comes out with a new mascara. I don't usually get excited to try it out. All right, so there is the finished mascara. I'm pretty impressed. That looks pretty dang good. I will let you guys know how it wears, but so far I really like it. All right, let's now move into the lips. So they did, as I said, send me two of these chill out lip glazes. Let's start with this one right here. This is a, looks like this has hemp in it as well. Hemp derived CBD. So this one right here is in the shade dreamy. Oh yeah, it looks like these are like a doe fit. I wasn't quite sure where the applicator on these were. Oh wow, that feels really nice. So this one's basically like a clear. Let me just swatch a little bit on the back of my hand. It has a bit of like a whitish kind of iridescent green flip to it, really pretty. Really glossy, not sticky though. Like a nice hydrating lip gloss. And they don't really smell like much. Like they don't smell bad, but they don't smell strong. They just have this really, really soft, subtle, fresh scent. Let me see about this one right here. This one is in the shade Unwind. It's the pink one. Let's just swatch that on the back of my hand. Oh yeah, so this one has a lot more pigment to it. So I'm actually gonna wipe this one off and try this one out. Those feel really, really nice. They remind me of the feel of the Maybelline ones, but even less sticky. I mean, those I don't think those ones are sticky either, but these are like extra I mean, they are just very smooth and creamy feeling. That looks really pretty. I do want to try one of the gel lip and cheek products out though on the lips just to show you guys these as an option. So let's go with this one. This was the shade Raspberry Crush, the brighter pink. How many of you guys have issues with the product sharing space with your lips and your cheeks? Any germaphobes out there have problems with that? I would imagine that some people might. I don't personally, but. So that actually makes a really pretty lip product as well. So I do wanna go back in with a little bit more of the pink gloss on top and we'll just go all out pink for my lips today. And I think that is everything. This is the completed look. I am very happy with it. I really was impressed with the eyeshadows. I was impressed with the cheek stick. I will keep you guys posted on the blush bombs. In fact, I'm really excited to try these out now so that I can include them in my blush video that I have coming out in January where I'm gonna talk all about my favorite liquid and cream blushes. So stay tuned for that. As for everything else, I mean, so far the primer is gonna take me some time to really figure out if I would recommend these primers. I really did like them. This one felt really nice. It did feel really nice and cooling, but not super hydrating, not greasy at all. So if you felt like the original Supernova Skin Elixir was a little bit too oily for you, this would be a better option, I think, because it definitely is not like an oil. It's more of a water or watery texture, I should say. This one, I really did like as well. I felt like it felt really nice. It smelled really soft and nice. As far as it making my skin look better, I mean, I almost never can tell that with any primers, but I will keep using it and keep you guys posted. The mascara, I really enjoyed. The lip glosses, if you are someone that is looking for a lip gloss that has absolutely zero stick to it at all. I think you would really like these because these are the most non-sticky lip gloss I think I have ever felt. So that is it for today's video, trying out some new Flower Beauty makeup. Thank you to Flower Beauty for sending me these products. I'm very excited about them. Can't wait to get the order that I placed from Flower Beauty because I do have some other things that are new from them as well, including a new serum foundation of theirs as well as the other shade of this bronzer that I am super excited to try. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. One more reminder, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. I hope that you'll consider doing that before you leave. And that is it for today, day three of my 12 days of Christmas. Thank you guys again. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you guys all very soon. In fact, tomorrow in my next video. Bye. They even sent me a handwritten note. Mandy, here are some of our new favorites from Flower Beauty, all available now at CVS. XO, Drew. <laughs> Drew wrote me a note. Oh wait, no, it says the Flower Beauty team, but I'm pretty sure that's Drew's handwriting. Oh, ignore these nails, you guys. I was gonna, I forgot I was gonna paint them or touch up my tips before I did this video today. They <laughs> look mangled. <laughs> ignore the nails, please. Ignore the nails. Oh, 
shoot. That's the finger I used to swatch. Oh, Curtis.